As we all know, NASA is an industry standard where space and technology are concerned, so it doesn't come as a shock that they always look for new ways to one-up themselves. Their next target is a Roman space telescope that's currently in the making. SpaceX will launch the telescope on a contract of $225 million. So, what makes this deal and the telescope so special? Let's find out. Almost two weeks ago, on the 19th of July 2022, NASA announced they would partner with SpaceX to launch their upcoming space telescope called the Nancy Grace Roman. We will take the next few minutes to share the information we have so far about both the telescope and the launch based on the bits and pieces of information being continuously released at the discretion of both companies. The Nancy Grace Roman Telescope is a space telescope that has been infrared by NASA. It is still in the development phase and the expected release date is said to be May 2027. The story behind the telescope's name has a significant meaning too. The Nancy Grace Roman Space Telescope was named after Dr. Nancy Grace Roman because her research with NASA made it possible for such large-scale telescopes to be produced. She worked with NASA for 21 years before she passed away in 2018, contributing to and leading countless research projects that NASA uses as standard practice today. Roman was best known for her project Hubble, which landed 30 years ago. The Roman Space Telescope is a lasting legacy to this amazing person, she deserves a place in the heavens, according to Dr. Thomas Zerbucha, NASA's Associate Administrator for the Science Mission Directorate. The project is being approached with the utmost caution because if everything goes according to plan, Nancy Grace will be the first flagship astrophysics mission to launch after James Webb, which launched on Christmas Day last year. The telescope, or as the professionals call it, the spacecraft, which weighs close to 4,200 kilograms, it also rocks a 2.4 meter primary mirror, which NASA received as a donation back in 2012. The spacecraft is planned to be used in research regarding astrophysics, cosmology, and exoplanets, which is why it also comes with a cornograph and a wide field instrument. All of this begs the question, where could a spacecraft of that size be launched? Well, let us explain. Considering its mass, the Nancy Grace Roman Telescope will need a lot of room to operate. Luckily, outer space is a great place to go when you need, well, space. All jokes aside, the Nancy Grace Roman Telescope is set to launch into the Earth Sun L2 Lagrange point, which is located 1.5 million kilometers away from dear old planet Earth, if you head in the direction of the Sun, that is. The launch will take place in October 2026, and the colossal spacecraft will then be sent off to outer space from the Kennedy Space Center in Florida, USA. NASA's contract with SpaceX is one of the biggest ones the company has awarded in a long time. Even though this isn't a first for NASA, since they have known to award big contracts for a few other projects, it is unusual nonetheless. Therefore, you might think that it doesn't make sense for NASA to pay so much money to launch one spacecraft into outer space. So, let's take a moment to examine why NASA chose to pay so much money for the launch of one spacecraft and why they chose SpaceX to carry it out. According to NASA's resources, the Nancy Grace Roman Space Telescope had an expected development cost of $3.2 million. However, the telescope's maximum budget could go above that number by $700,000. The main reason we have at hand is that NASA is simply paying way too much money on this telescope to just let it be launched into space by any company that doesn't evoke reliability. And we all know the reputation that SpaceX has in this area. NASA officials have stated time and time again that this launch simply has to go right. There is no other option. Since SpaceX has been partnering with NASA and has a reputation of successfully launching cargo into the ISS since 2012, they are the only logical option. The word on the street is that if the 2026 launch goes well, SpaceX will also start assisting NASA in launching its astronauts soon. In total value, NASA has already paid SpaceX billions of dollars in revenue, excluding its contributions to the company. In addition, including the rockets they helped SpaceX develop, NASA has contributed significantly to the growth mission of SpaceX. In short, it makes sense for them to put their money where their mouths are. One would think that since there is so much money involved in making the Nancy Grace Roman Space Telescope happen, it has to outdo its predecessors. So now, Let's take a moment to look at what the Nancy Grace Roman will be operating on and where it stands in comparison to the other NASA telescopes. 
The next question that may pop up in your head may be, what will the Nancy Grace Roman Space Telescope study be? The Nancy Grace Roman Space Telescope will operate on a long to-do list based on astrophysics and planetary science. It will do a variety of things including help discover, image, and characterize exoplanets, pick up on faint infrared signals throughout the cosmos, study planetary systems around other stars in the cosmos, help generate big picture panoramas of the universe, keep tabs on the cosmic acceleration in history, study the structure and evolution of the universe. Now that we have gone over how the Nancy Grace Roman Space Telescope will contribute to space research, let's now look at how it compares to its predecessor, both released and unreleased at the time of recording. Compared to Hubble Space Telescope, the Hubble Telescope was the apple of Nancy Roman's eye, so much so that she came to be known as the mother of Hubble by those immersed in all things NASA related. So, it only makes sense that a space telescope honoring Nancy Grace and her work would be seen as an upgrade of her previous work, and is the case between the Hubble Space Telescope and the Nancy Grace Roman Space Telescope. The Nancy Grace Roman Space Telescope is seen as an upgrade of the Hubble Space Telescope, mainly because it has a larger field of view despite having the same size mirror as Hubble at 2.4 meters, according to an article published in Forbes magazine. The Nancy Grace Roman Space Telescope has 100 times more field of view than Hubble. This allows the spacecraft to map the Milky Way 100 times faster than its seniors. But the real question is, what can Nancy Grace do to discover exoplanets, and how does it compare to other telescopes in that regard? Luckily, we have an answer for you. When you put the words exoplanets and space telescope together in one context, your initial thoughts will probably trace back to the Kepler Space Telescope, which was known for its exoplanet hunting skill for a very long time. In less than a decade, between 2009 and 2018, the Kepler Space Telescope helped astronauts discover well over 2,300 exoplanets that were about the same size as planet Earth and Neptune. As a successor of this mission, Nancy Grace aims to complete the exoplanet census that Kepler started back in the late 2000s. As we mentioned, the spacecraft will be equipped with a coronagraph to block starlight and help create a clear scanning and photography of Earth-sized planets in orbit. This also explains why the Nancy Grace Roman Space Telescope has a bigger to-do list than other space telescopes. It will be NASA's most advanced spacecraft to launch yet. And so all eyes have turned to this brand new space telescope that promises so much potential for the worlds of astronomy and astrophysics. So, what do you think about this new contract SpaceX just struck with NASA? And what do you think about the Roman Space Telescope itself? Share your thoughts in the comments below.